If you don't get people to believe that they can make our world a better place, you will not get the world to be a better place. I believe that the Holt Prize is changing the world. It was 10 years ago where I was asked to come fly to Lucerne to meet Pearl Holt. And I pitched him this audacious idea that I would bring young people around the world together to think differently about how to use business as a force for good. And that idea was the Holt Prize. Here I am, this 20-something-year-old, no startup experience, no real track record, and a big idea that was designed to change the world. I'm sitting across the table from a billionaire who effectively could change my life. And he bet on me, he took a risk on me. One of my friends once described Berto as the patron saint of young entrepreneurs. The Holt Prize enables him to do that on a massive scale. If you want people, especially young people, to do their thing, you have to let them try. Ten years later, we have taken a chance on millions of young people. That's what we do every single day. Because believing in a kid and inspiring them and changing them within is how you change the world. I just remember us sitting there and thinking this was a transformative concept. You could actually build a for-profit business whose core objective is to eradicate some type of global issue. And that became what we all knew we were going to devote the next chapter of our lives to, win or lose the whole prize. And that's the beginning of Spire. Mohammed Ashur. I always get goosebumps when I share his story because they had this wild idea that you could use crickets to feed the world. I start thinking to myself, could this be the idea that validates the model of the whole prize? I won't forget it, Shabita, she was wearing this crimson dress and she said, Aspire has found a new way to feed the world. It's such a feeling of accomplishment and achievement. On their way to a billion dollar enterprise that's having a ripple effect on humanity around the world. He went to medical school to help thousands and he leaves medical school to help millions. Being able to truly see the real impact that the Holt Prize and we envisioned when we started the company. If the Holt Prize was just this million dollar startup competition, it wouldn't be worth it if there was no real impact on the ground. But that's what we're having every single day. Until I started on this journey, I could never imagine that I could make as much a difference which uh, I have made. Right-sizing healthcare in urban slums. The story of Manish and NanoHealth, who've gone on to rewrite the rules of healthcare, gives you an insight as to the power of the whole prize. We have tens of thousands of young people from India who have joined the movement only because this one startup emerged out of India. I don't think anybody thought this would hit such a nerve with students and grow so quickly. That's the really impressive thing. Young people, you want to wake up and change things, shake things up, go build something great. The whole prize makes you believe you can. This has never really been about our legacy. It's been about the change in thinking it creates. It makes people see things and understand the world in a different way. At no point did we think to ourselves, it's not possible just to build like real schools for these kids. And we had a meeting with a global VP from UNICEF. He just looks at me and he's like, absolutely no way it's gonna work, right? And then I was sitting there thinking, well, maybe he's wrong. The power of this naive optimism that you have when you're young, and that's what changes the world. We ended up going to the finals, having a school already built and running. Taylor's company, Impact, is this game-changing coffee company building sustainable, world-class, early childhood education. Last year, we got an email from UNICEF inviting us to be on this new global task force for early childhood education. And he was like, guys, I don't know how you did it. Thank you for showing me that there was a way to do this. He's gone on to mentor hundreds of Holt Prize teams. He was the early example of this community we've built. I think Ahmad calls it the whole prize effect. They come into the competition, they compete, and then they go on to want to be involved and give up their time. Without the support and dedication of tens of thousands of people, literally, the whole prize wouldn't be anything today. It has created a community of very driven and passionate young entrepreneurs who really care about impact. Wyclef and Sonia, heartfelt, driven 
youngsters, 19 and 20 years old, create this transportation company, which today, imagine, is the fastest growing transportation company in Africa, Bupass. We won the Hulk prize, and it's not like you've won the one million dollars and it's done. That's when the actual challenge starts. The scale that it can reach and the ways it can touch lives is what drives me and drives my passion for Bupas. There is, yes, one winner who wins, but each year there are like actually several businesses that come out of the Hulk prize. In fact, we actually know two other teams that didn't win, and uh, one of them got an uh, investment of $2 million from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the other one recently just got an investment of about $800,000. Russian rides were for Pakistani Americans who went back home. We had incredible mentors and incredible coaches that brought us to this level, and as we're passing this on, it's creating a huge revolution. It's like basically a revolution that's really starting yeah. within that's, this that's, organization and the people that they touch. That's the perfect word for a revolution. The most exciting part is I feel like we've built the world's largest impact-focused community. The Hall Prize is starting to be a really you know, powerful alumni network. The Hall Prize alumni community will have people that go on to do absolutely amazing things for the world. They're, they're just incredible individuals. We've always seen the primary measure as being the number of people who participate because we're teaching them about the role of business in society. Not just to make money, to make our world a better place. That is by far the biggest impact of the whole prize. And that's why it's so important. One of the times where it really hit me was right after we won. I flew back to Myanmar. One of the farmers came up to us. She told us that because of us, she had six months of income so that her daughter could go to school and so that she could feed her family. Rice Inc., they've effectively reimagined the entire supply chain of fair trade rice. That really hit us. To see the impact that you always talk about, but actually standing in front of you, thanking you for helping them, that's, that's just a whole different experience. Hulk Prize has inspired a generation of youth to live a life of meaning. The, the whole energy gives you hope, hope for humanity. As I look back on the last 10 years, it's been an unbelievable journey that I wouldn't trade for the world. To see this idea go from a really small little student competition to a global force has been you know, remarkable. It's inspiring and it's changed the way I view the way I should run Holt. I see Holt Prize as being central to Holt International Business School. But the whole price has come to stay. That's nothing to do with me any longer. In many ways, in any startup, the start is the hard part. And when you get to the stage we have now, that's usually when it can get really interesting and much more fun. It all kind of comes back down to the simple idea. A young person with nothing more than an idea to change the world and the willingness to see it through standing there in front of somebody who can help make it real. Look at how taking that risk has paid off. Many, many millions of people. It's not a million, many, many millions of people have been affected. When you start talking about a community of millions, you now have enough people to build a future. That's what we're going to need as a society, and that's what makes the whole prize so special. To win wars, you need armies, and we've assembled the world's greatest army. Those young people are what have become the whole prize. Leading a generation to change the world. It's truly an honor to welcome all of you to the United Nations for this event. Happy 10th anniversary to the Holt Prize, truly celebrating a decade of impact. Best Holt Prize we've ever had 10 years in the game. Everybody ready? It's about showtime. We have six final startups. Rutopia. Tulavku. Protein. Phonic. Turnart. Safe wheel. Be bolder. Think bigger. 
and let there be no limit to the amount of impact that you can have. Because this challenge is really important this year. Solving the challenge of global youth unemployment, which all these young people have tried to address in discreet and achievable ways. Now, the judges had a difficult choice to make, but they have made it. Are we ready? The winning team is Rutopia. <laughs>